Are you stunned that the jury essentially rejected her story? Well, you know, really what happened here is it's a tale of two trials. Johnny Depp brought a suit in the UK for the same case. And the burden of proof was easier for him there. The son had to actually prove that it was true. And, and the court found there, and we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, but the court found that Mr. Depp had committed at least 12 acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence, against Amber. So what did Depp's team learn from this? Demonize Amber and suppress the evidence. We had an enormous amount of evidence that was suppressed in this case. And you were able to get some evidence that you say demonstrated abuse. You certainly had her testimony. There were pictures, documents, all kinds of evidence. But in point of fact, the jury rejected it. What basically they did here is demonize her. And they did, they were able to suppress the, the medical records, which were very, very significant because they showed a pattern back, going all the way back to 2012, of Amber reporting this to her therapist, for example. We had significant amount of texts, including from Mr. Depp's assistants, saying, when I told him he kicked you, he cried. He is so sorry. That didn't come in. Social media was a part of this, and it was incredibly lopsided. And how can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. And it was horrible. It, it really, really was lopsided. And I appreciate your saying that. It's like the Roman Colosseum. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not. Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no, absolutely not.